Hello. <laughs> it's Alex. <laughs> um, I'm going to put put you on to... Um, what do you call it? There's a name for it. I'm going to put you on to... Mm. You know, that delay thing. <laughs> time lapse. That's it. Yes. Time lapse. I'm going to put you onto time lapse and I'm going to paint this badge. So you should be able to see me painting it, but without it being too boring and long, you'll see it sort of. <laughs> in stages um yeah so this is a rover p6 boot badge which probably not so crazed obviously but looks something like that bit bit knackered yeah so with a bit of hot water this plastic part can be removed from the metal and then you can access the back of it and paint it. Now I've had this um, vapor blasted by Matt in Malvern. I'll put a link in the description of his business. Um, he blasted all the old paint off uh, without causing any damage to the badge at all. And then what I've done is I've brought it home and I've just sprayed it with two coats of clear lacquer. Uh, the reason for that is because the lacquer holds some UV protection um, and I believe it will help the enamel adhere better. Now I'm using this method because it's the method I used on my Rover badge which is on my P6 and that's been out in the elements for a couple of winters and is perfect. Um, it's been out in the sun, everything and it's still absolutely perfect so I've chosen to do exactly the same with this badge which isn't mine this is my friend Jeff's it's for his p6 his v8 um, and yeah he's asked me to paint it for him so I shall put you on to time lapse and you'll be able to see the progress we start with black first um, be very careful with the black so as not to get it into where the red and the gold should be. You've got to have a real steady hand uh, and I'm not tooting my own horn but I'm quite good at it. So, uh, I my tin, find my black, which is a nice gloss 21, that'll do and I shall have a nice red as well which is gloss 20 uh, and then I've got my gold which is a 94 on the revel paints whereas the others are humbra so that's my three paints that I use I've got a little thing of thinners just in case there's any problems a spoon for opening the can um, and yeah, I've got loads of brushes in here, um, loads, so that will keep me occupied. I shall see you in a time lapse. this far 
you will now realize I am no longer time lapsing. I am talking to you normally. Um, I had a, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> I had a record on while I was painting. Um, Pearl Jam, I think the album's called 10. Um, yeah, I really like that album. It's really nice. On vinyl, of course. Um, but I can't play you Pearl Jam because they'll probably try and copyright me. So I will add in some music that won't I won't get copyrighted for. <laughs> um, hopefully not get demonetized for that. Not that I'm worried about 50p or whatever it is. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake, I keep wiping my hand with the soiled kitchen towel. I keep rubbing the black back on. Is that it? Oh, that'll do. Ugh. Get another tissue. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just cleaning up now. I've done one coat of black. And how long have I got to leave this for? So, let's put the lid back on because I'm bound to tip it on the floor. is back uh where are we now oh i think it reckons six hours you know so i will have to do another coat tomorrow i think what's it now 12 o'clock so yeah i mean i could do one later on couldn't i yeah i might do another coat of black later on and then uh, let that dry overnight and normally normally two coats of black does it with this stuff because it's enamel so we'll see i'll do another coat tonight and hopefully that's it for the black once the black's done i then move on to red so the uh, the brush just came off its stick fantastic that's quality for you they were from china right um it's been six hours since i did the first coat of black on the badge so i'm going to put you back onto time lapse and we'll do coat number two <laughs> enthralling of that you saw or enjoyed because I have no idea what this time-lapse thing's like um, I tried to show the camera but it's hard to see because it's such a small piece of detail so let me try and get you down here hang on all right can you see here under the flag there's two black lines you've got to paint those black very carefully and if you can look if you can see sorry on the camera I've blodged a bit blodged or splodged splodged a bit too much black 
on the ends. So I'll wait till it's dry and I should be able to just gently scrape those bits off that I don't want there. There's also a couple of little bits here I've gone over with the black, a few little dots. Again, once it's completely dry, I should be able to get a little blade or something and just scratch those bits off. Um, but yeah, that's the black done. I think two coats is enough. So that's two coats of black enamel on there. It looks good enough to me. Um, I'll pick it up and show you. If you can see. I can't see through it now really. <laughs> Got black fingers again. I don't know how I get in such a mess. Any paint I accidentally get onto the clear part on the outside will just come off with thinners anyway. So that's fine. Not worried about that. Uh, the outside will have to be polished anyway. Once this is done. Um, hopefully, by the time I come to it next to do the red, the black will be completely dry so I won't end up with black bits on me, I'll have red bits instead. <laughs> um, yeah, I see you when I do the red. Or the scraping, something like that. Thanks for watching. Bye.